Stevenson gets the 88-63 win over Penn State Burks here at the Mustang Classic, presented by Marriott Owings Mills Metro Center. Glenn Clark alongside Gary Stewart. Coach, um, a little bit of a sluggish start. Um, I, I guess if that's the only problem, that's a good problem to have because you can go from there. But what did your team do in order to turn things around there in the first half? Well, we got back on our heels a little bit at the start. Um, I thought they punched us in the mouth. They were more assertive, more aggressive, got the ball in the paint, got to the free throw line. But we were able to get some stops. And and once we were able to get a tourniquet on it, um, we got some uh, timely baskets from Joey, and then we're able to get some separation. What are your rules, right? When somebody is in a zone like that, is it just give them the green light or that you still have to make sure? Because it seemed like all of those shots came to him. It didn't seem like he was forcing them. Well, I think when you're going like that, I think uh, you don't look over for the green light. You know <laughs> you know, you have it. And, you know, and so, um, you know, we've seen that before. We see that in practice. and. And uh, our guys did a good job of getting him the ball, and he makes good decisions, uh, um, takes good shots, and, and you know we probably need to help him a little bit more in terms of create some space for him. But uh, it was a great, great uh, performance, and we needed that. I mean, we we were struggling a little bit to get some consistency there, and um, we got a stop, and he gets a three, get another stop, he gets another three, and we kind of wrestle the momentum, and and we're able to take off from there. A lot of guys able to get minutes in the second half. What what did you like most of those the reserves, the guys that were able to get in there? What stood out to you? I thought uh, Andre Brooks really gave you a, a, some quality minutes there in the second half. Yeah, Andre Andre played well, and um, he's coming along. You know, we we have high hopes for him, and as as we do for a lot of those guys that you saw um, at the end of the game, and um, you know they're pressing and trying to uh, do um, something to uh, earn their way onto the floor a little bit more and. And, um, you know, I, I certainly don't fault their effort. I thought that uh, our guys competed well. Um, I thought Cole Beeman was excellent tonight. He had a really good week of practice, and, and we're going to need him. Um, you learn a lot about your team in those valuable minutes because you want to stretch your your uh, depth. And, and we were able to take a look at some guys in, in the heat of battle, so that's really important for us. And we got some film that we can get back and evaluate some things and, and help them along. Let's talk about this event. You're going to turn around tomorrow and play Brooklyn. Why? Why do you want to have an event like this every weekend and, and get that short turnaround for your team to experience? Well, um, there's times in the season that you're going to have to do this. We're going to have to go and play again at Randolph-Macon um, tournament uh, mm -hmm. towards the end of the, um, the year. And um, it, it, I think it's just really healthy um, to kind of have them bounce back uh, and, and deal with if it was adversity the night before, they've got to snap back and, and uh, perform. It's a new day. And if you had a good day, um, like we did last year, um, didn't have a great response. And so now we're going to see how we handle that tomorrow. Um, so um, I, I just think uh, a preseason tournament is, is a great opportunity for us to evaluate and, and also to extend our bench because we're playing back-to-back -back days and, and you want to uh, um, take a look at some people early in the season to see um, um, how they can help you in January and February. Right, Coach, congratulations on a great win. We'll look forward to seeing you back out there tomorrow. Thank you, Glenn. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.